Search for App Mink. It's morning in App Mink Town. Sounds like Mink is sleeping in. Mink is now ready for his day off. Ah. Phew. What is this? What? Trash? What is this doing here? The whole street is full of garbage. What's this? A garbage truck. <laughs> hey, you! What are you doing? <laughs> Mink is going to catch them. Stop! Are you all right? Oh. Yeah, but what's going on here? The whole town is covered in trash, uh -huh. Mink! Look! We need to find the pigs! <laughs> Who's that? Oh, good morning, Mink. Do you like how I've decorated the place? Start cleaning this mess up right now! No! This is my town! If you don't like it, you can leave! Is that a joke? Guards, remove them from my town! Fire! Don't worry, Mink. I got this. Great job. Watch out. Huh? <gasps> oh no, another one is coming. <laughs> oh no, Big Mink. Uh oh, Big Mink is stuck. Here they come again! Oh. What do we do? I have an idea! Oh. Great! Oh. What? Ah. Let's roll! Do you give up now, Mink? What? Stop them! Fire! The police monster truck! <gasps> awesome! Here we go! Oh no! The wheels are stuck in garbage! Miss Mink! Huh? Give me a push! Even villains check the side mirror. I'll show you. Take a deep breath, Mink. I won't let you get away. <laughs> you won't last long, Mink. What? <laughs> <laughs> Pigs! Evil Dr. Pig won't be free until the pig squad cleans up all of the mess for him. 
Mink can enjoy his day off after all. All right, time to build a new friend. Do you know who it is? We're starting with the connector. Now we're adding the back and the wheels. Here comes the cab. Looking great. Our exhaust pipes, bumper, and roof. Then finally the back. Garbage truck. Garbage truck. That's right, it's Mr. Garbage Truck. Bicycle. Bicycle. Mr. Garbage Truck is taking the bicycle. What next? TV. TV. The TV is next. Now? A lamp next. Any more? Chair. Chair. He's taking a chair. What goes with a chair? Table. Table. Yep, a table. Great work, Mr. Garbage Truck. Super Daddy, where he skipped to find the sky. Super Daddy, where he skipped to find the sky. Super Daddy, where he skipped. Super Daddy, where he skipped. Super Daddy, where he skipped to play with me. <laughs> Super mommy where her foot's to jump real high Super mommy where her foot's to jump real high Super mommy where her butts Super mommy where her butts Super mommy where her butts to play with me <laughs> Super sister wear the glasses for the spray Super sister wear the glasses for the spray Super sister wear the glasses Super sister wear the glasses Super sister wear the glasses to play with me Super kids wear the gloves to save the trees Super kids wear the gloves to save the trees Super kids wear the gloves Super kids wear the gloves Super kids wear the gloves to save the trees Super family come together and celebrate. Super family come together and celebrate. Super daddy, super mommy, super sister, super kids. Super family come together and let's play. <laughs> super daddy, where he escapes. Super daddy, where he escapes. Super daddy, where he escaped to play with me. Super mommy, where her butts. Super mommy, where her butts. Super mommy, where her butts to play with me. <laughs> Super kids wear the gloves. Super kids wear the gloves. Super kids wear the gloves to save the trees. Super daddy, super mommy, super sister, super baby. Super family, come together and let's play. <laughs> yeah.
Search for App Mink. Welcome back to App Mink Town, everyone. There's a vehicle meet today for the awesome vehicle competition. And some of the vehicles from App Mink are here to show off what they can do. Monster Truck is raring to go. Digger is pushing his way into position. What an impressive jump! The school bus is flying on over. The crane truck's here too, and ready to roll. Are we missing someone? Ah, it's the garbage truck, cleaning up before he gets in position. The monster truck jumps out first to show us what he can do. Howdy kids, I'm the monster truck. I'm the coolest ride in town. I love getting paint jobs and doing stunts. Check out my huge tires. I also have a strong chassis and extra suspension for jumps and tricks. And my engine is extra powerful. I like showing off tricks to my friends, but it often gets me dirty, and I hate taking them back. But I think being dirty just ain't cool. Grr, out of my way. Hey, wait. Kids, if you want to be cool, you've got to be strong. Look at my strong arm. I can dig holes and move heavy things. And look at my strong blade. I can move even heavier things with this or lift them like they're nothing and turn and place them anywhere. Tires aren't cool. Treads are much tougher. They can take you anywhere. And that's why I'm the strong. Hey, wait! Out of the way, make way for someone who's really strong. The strongest are always in a team. We're the crane truck. We're two friends who always work together. The crane can reach up to the sky with his hook and use it to lift heavy things and place them in the right spot. But not only can he lift things, he can also smash him. Bam! We've got six big wheels so we can move heavy objects fast and easily. But if the crane needs more support, I have extra legs to lift heavier and higher. Teamwork is definitely the best. I'll teach you, you giraffe. <laughs> You'll never catch us with those treads. <laughs> Kids, we all know the most fun thing isn't being strong or being with just one friend. It's being with lots of friends. My body is made especially for moving lots of people at once. And I have lots of comfortable seats and top-notch suspension, making me great for carrying all your friends. We'll drive through extreme conditions together and have crazy adventures. And when it's all said and done, I'll make sure you go home soon. I bring you and your friends together Oh no, look at the time! I'm late to pick up the kids from school again! Hi kids, I'm not the coolest or the strongest, and I can't take you and your friends on adventures. 
Some of you might have seen me before though. That's because I get up really early and drive through town. I use my mechanical arm to pick up garbage bins and clean unneeded objects and store them in my body. This means you can get rid of rubbish so your home doesn't get cluttered and is tidy and clean and has room for toys. <sighs> but I have to go to bed now. Tomorrow I'll be up early again. Bye kids. Good night. Thanks for watching and tell us in the comments who your favorite vehicle is. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Alright kids, we're going to learn about numbers. And guess what? We're going to learn with some awesome car jumping stunts. Now that we've made the ramps, we need our first car. And here's the monster truck, ready to do his first jump. How many cars are there? One. One. Next. Two. Whoa, a 360. Two. All right, ready for the next jump? Three. Wow, a backflip. Three. Four. Reverse into 180. Four. Wow. Okay, getting hotter. Five. Five. Six. Another 360. Six. More cars. Seven. Another reverse into 180. Seven. Eight. Whoa, a barrel roll. Eight. Okay, here we go. Nine. Another backflip. Nine. Ten. Last jump. Ten. He made it. Great work, Mr. Monster Truck. Thanks for helping us learn to count. to pat a cake. What's pat a cake? That means to make a cake. Whoa, sure I do. Great. Wash your hands and let's grab the recipe. And then we'll mix all the ingredients. Pat a cake, pat a cake, bake. Sing this song. Are you ready? Mix a cake, mix a cake, baker's man. Mix me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and roll it and mark it with a B. And put it in the oven for the whole family. Mix a cake, mix a cake, baking is so cool. We'll make a tasty cake that So tasty. Good 
work. You really helped me make a super cake. It was super fun. Cleaning up the kitchen after we have made a mess. Creating such a tasty cake, we really did our best. It's such a super day, I got to make a great big cake. I'm really looking forward to what else that we can bake. We'll gather all together and again we'll pat a cake. Search for App Mink. Oh no! Evil Bus has stolen money from the bank! <laughs> I'm rich! What should I buy with all this money? Oh, look over there! It's Mr. Police Car! He can help! on the siren. Time for a chase. Pull over, evil bus. Somebody could get hurt. I have to stop this bank robber. Evil bus is going the wrong way on the road. Now Mr. Police Car is going the wrong way too. It really wants to stop the bank robber. Stop, evil boss! Smell you later! Sorry, Mr. Fire Truck and Mr. Garbage Truck. Are you alright? Mm hmm. Good. Please follow me. We have to stop this bank robber. Here we go, everyone. Mr. Police Car is taking Evil Boss onto another road. What's this? Mr. Fire Truck and Mr. Garbage Truck are taking the next right. They're setting up a trap for Evil Boss. We got him! Oh yeah! They've caught the bank robber! Oh man! The bank robber will now go to jail. Great work, team. Over here! 
so many squares! Hooray! Thank you, Mink! Search for App Mink! Previously in App Mink Town... Evil Dr. Pig has snatched my bag! Not so fast, <laughs> Evil Dr. Pig! <laughs> Go car! You can do it! <laughs> Time to end this. Time to use the oil slick. Oh no, not again. A spike strip. Not so fast, evil Dr. Pig. Oh no, you don't, evil Dr. Pig. Oh, I'm back in prison again. I sure am glad no one was hurt today. And we can return Miss Mink's bag. Yeah, I'm glad too, Helicopter. Us cars, we make the best police vehicles. Just look at my shiny motor. It is so powerful. At top speed, I can reach up to 130 miles per hour. Bad guys like Evil Dr. Pig see me coming in their rear vision mirror before they can even say yikes. With my motor, I can rise high up into the sky. Whoa, steady there, helicopter. You'll go right through the top of this building if you're not careful. And the last thing I want to be doing is cleaning up a big mess. For us cars, control is important. We need the best steering to avoid objects on the road. People, animals, and sometimes big rocks, and even oil. Good steering helps us to move around these objects with ease. Helicopters too have plenty of air and space to fly around in, but we also need to change direction quickly. That's why we use our tail rotor. Tail rotors also help keep us stable. Without it, we'd spin around and around in circles. Oh, that sounds scary. We have tires to help us stay stable on the road. Can you think of any conditions that would make it difficult for us to stay on the road, helicopter? In the snow and the rain? Exactly. But good tires keep us on the road, especially at high speed. They are also useful when driving through slippery mud. I bet you would need a good bath after that. Sure do. And I really don't like baths. We also have a rear wing that helps us stay on the road. Not to mention, rear wings look seriously cool. Don't you think, helicopter? It sure does look cool, car. But as you know, helicopters don't want to stay on the ground. They want to fly high into the sky so they can see everything below. We have these huge main rotors to help us do that. I was wondering when you would mention those. <laughs> Sorry, car. Now I will definitely be sure to let you know when I'm around. I could do that with my siren and flashing lights. The lights flash red and blue. And the siren makes a sound like this. Wow, so loud! But wouldn't you rather sneak up quietly on bad guys? Good point, helicopter. But sirens and flashing lights let other people know that I am coming. That way they can move out of harm's way. We need special lights too. We have a large spotlight for spotting things at night. With our spotlight, we can easily find bad guys. Also, it warns people of potential danger. Wow, helicopter! That is a very bright spotlight. And I can feel the warmth of it. It's like I'm sitting around a campfire. Do you have any marshmallows that we could cook and eat? <laughs> no, I don't have any marshmallows. Sorry, car. I can also make loud sounds through my loudspeaker. With my spotlight and loudspeaker, maybe we can host a special at mint disco party. Sounds like fun. You know what, helicopter? We sure do have a lot of differences. But when we work together, we make a great crime-fighting team. Teamwork sure is important, car. Miss Mink was so happy when she got her bag back today. With teamwork, we can make such a difference and help people. We sure can. Search for App Mink. Okay, ready for the last part, everyone? Let's go! 
S Star T Turtle U Unicorn V. Violin W. Wheel X. Xylophone Why? Yellow Zip That's it, everyone! That's the whole alphabet! Amazing work! Now, let's take these letters for a drive, too! Thanks for joining us to learn the alphabet, everyone! Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time! Keep the rhythm of the music
rise again If there's something that attacks you, let it go a little while Just smile and move your body to the rhythm of the song Just dance, oh dance Keep the rhythm of the music, keep on moving through the song Jump, cheer, sing and dance until you're feeling better Search for App Mink. Hey everybody, we're back at App Mink Town today. And guess what? There's a surprise waiting for us at the police station. Let's go find out what it is. Hello, Mr. Walkie Talkie. What have you got for us today? Oh, some wheels? What are these for? Oh, it's the blueprints for a police car. And the wheels are the first step. What's next, Mr. Walkie Talkie? It's whatever's in this box. Ah, it's the axles for the wheels. Let's get them connected up so that we have a foundation for our police car. like so much fun, Mr. Walkie Talkie. Uh-oh, it's Police Chief Mink. Oh wait, he's going to join in. Now that the wheels are getting into position, what's next? We've got the siren, the bumper, the hood and the headlights, and the trunk and the tail lights. Let's see where they need to go. Here comes the hood and the trunk. Oh, look out! Oh no, I hope they're okay. Here comes Mr. Walkie Talkie and Police Chief Mink with the wheels. Alright, nice job guys. Now the helicopter will lower the windshield and the roof. comes the bumper jumping into place. Oh, and now here are the doors flying in from the hills. You guys know what to do. 
That's right, right on the sides. <laughs> Lastly, here comes the siren, jumping onto the roof. Good job, Mr. Walkie Talkie and Police Chief Mink. Now we can introduce the newest member of the At Mink Police Force, Mr. Police Car. Thanks, everybody. Now let's say goodbye to Mr. Police Car as he goes on his way. Please subscribe to At Mink's channel and see you next time. Search for At Mink.
Hey, Katie, do you know what the vowels are? Of course. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Well, that's right. And how would you like to sing a song about them? That would be great. Let's go. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. and bananas. Okay, now let's do it with the first vowel. A, long A, ready? I like to eat, 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 apples and bananas. I like to eat, 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 apples and bananas. Okay, that's cool now. How about an E sound? Are you ready? Go, Katie. and bananas. Okay, Papa. Now we do it with a long I. Ready? I like to eat, 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 apples and bananas. I like to eat, 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 apples and bananas. That was funny, Papa. Now we'll do it with a long O. Go! I like Katie, let's do you. You ready? I like to yoot, 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 yoopals and banoonews. I like to yoot, 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 yoopals and banoonews. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Okay, back to what we all know. Go! I like to eat, eat, eat. is getting faster. Do you think we can sing faster? Well, I don't think we'll be fast enough. Let's give it a try. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three, go! Yeah, but I think it gets faster soon. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Search for App Mink. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another educational adventure with Mr. Train and everyone from App Mink Town. Hi, Mr. Train. Today, we're going to learn about shapes. How many shapes do you know? Let's find out. The first shape is a circle. Did you know that the sun is a circle? Look at how happy he is about it. The police car and the school bus are showing us how the circle goes round and round. Next is the triangle. Did you know pyramids are made from triangles? These pyramids come all the way from Egypt. Mr. Train is showing us the triangle shape this time. Our third shape is the square. A square has four sides. Look at those exciting square presents. I wonder what's inside. The monster truck is bringing us four Lego blocks to make the four sides of the square. Our next shape is the pentagon. Did you know that the black spots on soccer balls are pentagons? But not the white spots. We'll find out about those next. 
The crane trucks are bringing us logs to use as the five sides of the Pentagon. Stop! Oh, wait, it's just our next shape, the hexagon! Now, if we line up the holes at the end of these six beams, we can make a hexagon. Let's lock them in place with the screws. Our sixth shape is a super shape. It's the star! And we have our superstar star here with us too! What's this? What is Evil Dr. Pig doing? Oh, he's pretending to be Pac-Man and eating Pac-Dots in the corners of the star! Now, we've got a diamond shape. Most kites are diamond shaped, with the tail flowing down from the bottom point. To make a diamond, we're going to get some help from our good friend, Mr. Dump Truck. Next is one of the loveliest shapes, the heart shape. Look at all the heart that little bear has got to give. Remember to give the people you love hearts like this bear to show them you care. Mr. Helicopter is going to draw a big heart in the sky for us. Thanks so much, Mr. Helicopter. It looks great. Our ninth shape is the oval. And what are the ovals we have in the basket? That's right, they're eggs! The dump truck is going to dump the eggs in the shape of an oval. It's an oval of ovals! Great work, Mr. Dump Truck! Our last shape is the rectangle. It looks like a stretched out square. Let's build a rectangle out of blocks. And now that we know how to make one, we can paint a rectangle on the wall. If you think you can draw a rectangle as well, draw one in the air with your finger. That's all of the shapes for today. Let's go through them one more time. Circle, triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, star, diamond, heart, oval, and rectangle. Thanks so much for your help, Mr. Train, and everyone else from AppMe. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Search for AppMink. Hey there, AppMink scholars, and welcome to the first installment of AppMink Academy. Today, we'll be talking about the seasons. As you know, there are four seasons. Summer is very hot and there's lots of sunshine. Winter is very cold and depending on where you live, there may be snow and ice. Spring is warm and lots of flowers come out in bloom. And in autumn, the leaves change color and fall from the trees. But you might be wondering, why do we have seasons? That is an excellent question. Let's join Mink on a journey into outer space to find out. Firstly, it is important to remember that like other planets in our solar system, the Earth moves around the Sun in a circular path called an orbit. Bearing that in mind, Let's take a closer look at our Earth. Earth is a sphere, like an orange. There is an imaginary line running through the Earth called the axis. You may notice that the axis does not run straight up and down. This is because the Earth is actually on a tilt or lean. That tilt is the reason for the seasons. As the Earth orbits around the Sun, sometimes parts of the Earth lean toward the Sun and away from the sun. When the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the sun, it's summer there. But you might be wondering, why is summer hotter than the other seasons? Another excellent question. It's because during summer, when the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the sun, it receives more direct sunlight. 
In other words, that warm, toasty sunlight is hitting that part of the Earth straight on. It is more concentrated in one spot and more intense. And what about winter? Well, when the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the sun, it's winter there. Winter is colder than the other seasons because during winter, when the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the sun, it receives indirect sunlight. In other words, that warm and toasty sunlight is now hitting the Earth at an indirect angle. It is spread out over a larger area and less intense. As for spring and autumn, these are the in-between seasons. During spring and autumn, the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun. Clear as mud? It may help us if we follow the Earth on its orbit around the sun and see how it works. Imagine you are here. What season would it be? I'll put that question to you, at Mink Scholars. I'll give you five seconds to think about it. If you said summer, then you are correct. Well done. The answer is summer because the place where the arrow is pointing is leaning towards the sun. Now let's see what happens as the Earth orbits around the sun. Let's stop here for a moment. Do you notice that the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun? Right now, it would be autumn. Off we go again. Okay, let's stop here. We have made the journey right around to the other side of the sun. Do you notice that where the arrow is pointing is now leaning away from the sun? So, at Mink Scholars, what season would it be? I'll give you five seconds to think about it. If you said winter, then you are correct! Well done! The answer is winter because the place where the arrow is pointing is now leaning away from the sun. Let's keep going. Again, let's stop here for a moment. Do you notice that the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun again? Right now, it would be spring. Time to finish off this journey around the sun. Okay, so now we've arrived back where we started, and it's summer again in the place indicated by the arrow. And hopefully, you have a clear understanding as to why we have the seasons. But our learning is not over yet. Did you notice how long that journey took to complete one whole orbit? I'll give you another five seconds to think about it. If you said one year or 365 days, then you're correct! It takes one year or 365 days for the Earth to make a full orbit of the Sun. In that time, we have four seasons. Each season is three months in length. And one more thing, let's look at the Earth moving around the Sun again. You'll notice that when the top half of the Earth is leaning towards the Sun, the bottom half is leaning away from the Sun. That means that when it is summer in the top half of the Earth, it is winter in the bottom half of the Earth. For example, when it is summer in Australia, it is winter in the USA. So the bottom half always has the opposite season to the top half of the Earth. Okay, so let's wrap this up. So why do we have seasons? Because our Earth is not straight up and down, but rather it is tilted on its axis. That means that as the Earth orbits the Sun, sometimes parts of the Earth lean towards and away from the Sun. When the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it's summer there. When the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the Sun, it's winter there. When the Earth is neither leaning towards or away from the Sun, it is spring or autumn. The relative temperatures in each season are related to the amounts of direct sunlight that a part of the Earth is receiving at any given time. So, that's it for the first installment of App Mink Academy. Now you know why we have seasons. Till next time, and as always, keep on learning! Are you ready for some more colors from App Mink Jr? 
You are? Great! This is a red tow truck. Red. Red tow truck. Red is the color of roses. This is a blue cement truck. Blue. Blue cement truck. Blue is the color of the sky. This is a yellow dump truck. Yellow. Yellow dump truck. Yellow is the color of bananas. This is a green backhoe truck. Green. Green backhoe truck. Green is the color of grass. This is a pink crane truck. Pink. Pink crane truck. Pink is the color of flamingos. Can you remember all the App Mink Junior colors and trucks? Red tow truck. Blue cement truck. Yellow dump truck. Green backhoe truck. Pink crane truck. Are you ready for the next song? This one's about an itsy bitsy little spider. Come on, let's sing! Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Climbed up the water spout Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out Sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Search for App Mink. Is everyone ready for a song? Okay, let's go. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. On the bus, they open and close, open and close, open and close. The doors on the bus, they open and close, all the way to town. All the way to town! The money on the bus goes ching, 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 ching. The money on the bus goes ching, 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 all the way to town. Driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver of the bus says, move on back, and don't forget to put your seatbelts on. All the way through town! The monkeys on the bus put the seatbelts on, the seatbelts on, the seatbelts on. The monkeys on the bus put the seatbelts on, and they enjoy the ride. 
the bus goes vroom, 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 vroom. The motor on the bus goes vroom, 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 all the way to town. All the way to town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. You better get out the way. Wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 to wash away the rain. All the way through town! The antennas on the bus go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Antennas on the bus go back and forth, and back and back and forth. The signals on the bus go blink, blink. Go blink, 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 and blink, 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 blink. All the way through town. The animals on the bus wave out the window, wave out the window, wave out the window. The animals on the bus wave out the window, all the way to town. 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 Everyone at App Mink Jr. loves colors. How about you? This is a red train. Red. Red train. Red is the color of tomatoes. This is a blue train. Blue. Blue train. Blue is the color of the ocean. This is a yellow train. Yellow. Yellow train. Yellow is the color of honey. This is a green train. Green. Green train. Green is the color of beans. This is a pink train. Pink. Pink train. Pink is the color of cherry blossoms. Can you remember all the colors of the App Mink Junior trains? Red train. Blue train. Yellow train. Green train. Pink train. Search for App Mink. I don't know how you 
Search for App Mink. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to App Mink. Today, Mr. Train is going to help us learn about numbers. Look at all those numbers we're going to get to learn today. First up, we have number one, and we have one monster car next to it. The crane and trucks are helping us with some logs. Hi, Mink. Hi. Oh, and you've got number two. Just like how you have two arms and two legs. The school bus and the monster truck are helping us out with this one. Now, number three. And look. Three stars! The dump truck is going to help us create the three using nuts. Next comes the number four. And it's surrounded by four umbrellas. Mr. Train is going to show us how to make a four. Great work! Oh no! Number five is surrounded by five of Evil Dr. Pig's minions. But don't worry, Mr. Helicopter is here to show us how to make one. Number six. Look at all the presents. This time, Mr. Police Car will help us. Now, number seven. That's how many colors there are in a rainbow. The monster truck is making a seven with Lego bricks. And guess what? For number eight, we have eight Lego bricks as well. Lots of cars are showing us how to make an eight. Now we get to number nine, and there's nine apples. Let's make a nine on the wall with a paint roller. Finally, number 10, with 10 balloons. 
Mr. Train is making the zero, and the logs are making the one. Now let's go through them all one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thanks for showing us how to count to ten, Mr. Train. We had lots of fun. Don't forget to subscribe to at Mink so we can learn more cool things. See you next time! Welcome back to at Mink Jr. Are you ready for some crazy fun? First, this dump truck's going in the microwave. Whoa, look at it go! All right, out you come. Okay, where's he off to? Ah, it's a blender full of balls. Hop in. There we go. Oh, wow. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's a tomato. This tomato is red. Can you say red tomato? Tomatoes go great with lettuce on sandwiches. Next, we have a yellow cherry picker. In you go. Wow, look at it go, round and round. Now the yellow cherry picker's on its way over to the blender. Look at all the yellow balls. I wonder what you'll become, Mr. Yellow Cherry Picker. Ooh. It's a lemon. Lemons are also yellow. Can you say yellow lemon? Lemons taste really sour. Be careful. All right, next we have a green digger. Into the microwave. Round and round we go. Wow, so fast. Now the green digger is gonna head over to the blender. Look at all the green balls. I wonder what the green digger will become. Ah, oh, it's a melon. Melons are also green. Can you say green melon? Melons are easy to cut up and great for sharing. Now we have a purple tow truck. Into the microwave. Round and round we go. Now it's time for the purple tow truck to head over to the blender. All right, in we go. I wonder what it'll be. Ah, oh, it's a raspberry. Can you say purple raspberry? Raspberries make the most delicious jam. Now we have an orange cement mixer. Into the microwave we go. Round and round and round and round. And back out again. And off to the blender. Are you ready to get into the blender, Mr. Orange Cement Mixer? I wonder what you'll become. Ah, it's an orange. Can you say orange, orange? That's it from us at AppMink Jr. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Search for AppMink TV. Hi everyone, today's another beautiful day at App Mink Town. And guess what? We've got another lesson for you from Mr. Train. Are you excited? I know I am. Let's get started. Today, we're learning about fruit. Do you know what fruit is in this box? It's bananas. Bananas grow on palm trees and love to be eaten by monkeys. Oh, oh, ah. You just peel the yellow skin off and chow down. Now, what fruit is this? It's an apple. 
There are over 7,000 different types of apples. If you tried one per day, it'd take you 20 years to taste them all. Apples are delicious, but make sure you don't eat the middle. That bit's not very tasty. To get apples, we plant an apple seed from the core in the ground, and it grows into an apple tree. Now what's our next fruit? It's a pear. Pears come in different colors, including green, orange, yellow, and even red. And they grow on trees much like apples. The wood from pear trees can be used to make lots of nice things, like ornaments, tables, and musical instruments like the cello. Now our next fruit often comes in pears. It's cherries. Cherries grow on beautiful trees called cherry blossoms. They produce about 800 cherries. Cherries are great when you have them with dessert, like cupcakes or pies, and look great on top. Wow, look at the size of that cherry pie. I hope that's not just for you, Fennec Fox. Now this fruit will be hard to guess. Can you get it? It's a coconut. Coconuts grow on palm trees in tropical places like deserted islands. The trees can reach 20 meters tall, which is as high as an eighth floor building. Hi, Big Mink. Hi. Ah, oh, coconut. Now I bet you can all guess this fruit. It's the pineapple. Pineapples grow out of the ground and are actually a type of berry. If you slice off the top, you can use it to grow a new one. Wow, Mink, that pineapple is gigantic. Maybe you should invite your friends to help eat it. Wow, look at it. The largest pineapple is 32 centimeters long and weighed over eight kilograms. Does everybody know this next fruit? It's lemons. Lemons grow on trees much like apples and pears. The trees are called evergreens and produce fruit all year. Oh, you like lemons, Miss Mink? No, too sour. Lemons are tastiest when you make lemonade by squeezing out their juices. You can also use lemons as a battery. Isn't that amazing? Okay, on to the next fruit. It's oranges. Oranges are another fruit that grows on trees like lemons. Oranges are like the children of Pinellos and the older <laughs> brothers of mandarins. <laughs> to eat an orange, first peel off the skin, which you can then use to make some nice tea or for making cakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oranges usually break into ten pieces after you take the skin off. Our next fruit is an old favorite. It's strawberries. Strawberries are covered in lots of tiny little seeds. The only fruit like this. There can be as many as 200. They grow on long stalks that come out of the ground that only produce fruit for five years. Strawberries are another fruit that goes great with dessert. The pineberry is a type of strawberry that's very pale and tastes like a pineapple. Do you know what our next fruit is? It's blackberries. They hang off the end of long branches. But watch out for the thorns. Blackberry leaves are great in tea. And if you feed blackberries to bees, they make delicious, dark, fruity honey. You can even use them to make pies, creams, ice creams, and jams, and they're all delicious. What do we have this time? It's the blueberry. Blueberries are great because you can eat lots of them before you get full. You can also use blueberries to make paint. So you and your friends can paint beautiful pictures. And just like other berries, you can make lots of delicious things like jams, pies, and ice creams. Thanks for another awesome lesson, Mr. Train. Let's go through them again. Banana, apple, pear, cherry, coconut, pineapple, lemon, orange, strawberry, blackberry, and blueberry. Thanks everyone for joining us on this learning adventure. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.
Search for App Mink. Uh oh, we've got a problem. What's wrong, Mr. Police Car? We need to get back to town so we can go on patrol. Sorry, walkie talkie. My engine is overheated. Maybe I should lay off the spicy food. <laughs> so much smoke! We need help. Attention, Mr. Crane Truck. We're stuck south of At Mink Town. Hmm, walkie talkie said to meet here. But where is he? I've got to get his attention. Oh, oh, there you are. What happened? It's terrible. Mr. Police Car is overheated. Hmm. In that case, I better take him back to the repair shop. Good work, Mr. Crane Truck. But wait, you forgot me. Oh no, how will I get back in time for patrol? Mr. Crane Truck, can't you come back and get me? I'm sorry, Walkie Talkie. It's too dangerous to turn around while towing. I'll come back in an hour. I wish I had my own wheels. Wah, what's that? Oh, someone's passing by. I wonder if they can help. Excuse me, can you help me get back to town? Of course. Since I'm a special construction vehicle, I'll build a taxi for you. Just let me grab this package. I'll show you step by step. This is what I use to make the tire. Are you ready? Have a look. What's that? Now let's spin the Stylomatic to find out what's going to make this taxi extra unique. Looks like this one is going to have a hat, a moustache and a rubber ducky. It's a bit small. Well, I hadn't thought about that, but I've got an idea. A little bit of air will do the trick. Get back, walkie talkie. A life size yellow and black taxi. Wow, it's perfect. Thanks so much. <laughs> With friends helping out, 
Anything is possible. Search for App Mink. Welcome back to App Mink Town. Looks like Mr. Train is doing well. <laughs> oh no, is that evil Dr. Pig? What's he doing? It looks very suspicious. What's in that bag? There are some very suspicious looking tools. And was that dynamite? What's he gonna do with that? Oh, this doesn't look good. Evil Dr. Pig, please stop! Oh my gosh! This is terrible! Mink! Oh no! Police copter! Please help! The tunnel has been blown up! Somebody blew up the tunnel, Police Chief Mink! Oh, that's terrible! First we're gonna put out the fire, and then move that log! Good work, Mr. Fire Truck! Putting out the fire is a great first step. Same goes for you, Mr. Crane. Good work. Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, how do we move all this? Oh, that evil Dr. Pig. I know what we should do. What's that, Miss Mink? You've got an idea. Aha! You think we should build a digger. Let's get started. First, we need the cap. Come on, cab. Don't leave us hanging. Next, come the sides and the seat. Jump on, guys! And on to the base. Come on, Grill, what are you waiting for? Bucket. Quickly, we've got a tunnel to fix. Oh no. Evil Dr. Pig's minions are here to stop us. Next up, we need the tilt cylinder and the blade. Great work! And now, the tracks and the frame. Ready to get rolling. Finally, 
the steering wheel gets to join. And now we're ready to help fix the tunnel. Oh, maybe a bit more power first. Boy, you're forgetting something. Huh? Thanks, Big Mink. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, uh. Uh, evil Dr. Pig's minions are trying to stop us again. Great work, Mink. No time to waste. We gotta get this cleaned up. Don't worry, I'm on it. Oh, 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 Mink, we're time. Oh no, the train is coming. Hurry, Mink. <laughs> this is it. It's getting closer. I can do it. This is you it. can do it, Mink. All right, we did it, guys. I foiled again. The train is saved. Another crisis avoided thanks to Mink and his friends. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to at Mink so you can see what Mink and his friends are up to next time. See you then. Search for at Mink. Ready for more? Okay. J. Jelly. K. Kite. everyone. Let's take these letters for a ride.
Christmas is coming! Good morning, Mink! Ah. Good morning, Big Mink! Ooh. What a beautiful snowy day! Christmas is nearly here for at Mink Town! Miss Mink has her winter clothes on and is ready for a great day! Here comes the school bus! Hey, Monster Truck! Look at the snow! Yeah! The school bus is on its way to Santa Mink's house! What wonder will we see there? Oh, wow! Wow, look at it! Hello? Look at all that Christmas wonder! <laughs> Hello there. I'm Santa Mink. You want to make some toys for me? <laughs> you bet. Hmm? Look at Max working hmm? so hard. Hmm? <laughs> and you too, Fennec. <laughs> wow, the presents are floating. <laughs> Look at all this Christmas magic. You boys have done excellent work. See you next time, Santa Mink. Yes, next time. Ho, ho, ho. What a great day. You look tired, Santa Mink. Oh, time for sleep. Time for sleep indeed. <laughs> oh, no. It's evil Dr. Pig. All right, you're ready. Uh-oh. <laughs> ready for what? <laughs> Why are you guys going into the Christmas house? No! What are you doing? You're breaking everything! <laughs> Bring Santa this way. No! You can't kidnap Santa! This is terrible! Alright, you ready to make some more toys? <gasps> Santa! Welcome back to at Mink Town, everyone. Hi there, Mink. Hi. Hi, Miss Mink. Hi. Hi, Big Mink. Hi. Mink, something terrible has happened. There's Fennec huh? and Max. Ask them what happened. They took Santa. Yeah! Oh, no! Hmm. Time to do some investigating and find hmm. out what happened. Hmm. Oh, they must have gone out the back door. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Huh? Over there. Oh, it's one of Evil Dr. Pig's minions. Ah. Oh. He must have gone into that house. Hmm. What do you see, Mink? Oh no! Oh no! It's Santa! And he's tied up! <laughs> I've been a good piggy. Give me my next present! Oh dear! He's been turned into a puppet and is being forced to use his magic to make presents! We'll help. Me too. Take this. Huh? <laughs> what was that? Nice work. Hmm. Yeah, take that. Arr, take this. Mm. Ooh, Look ooh. out. That was close. Sneaking behind him through the chimney. Great idea, Miss Mink. Thanks, Miss Mink. <laughs> uh -oh. 
This is bad. Yeah, take that. Nobody kidnaps Santa. Great work, everyone. We did it. Are you okay, Santa? Let's get you something nice and warm to drink. Now don't worry, kids. You'll all be getting your Christmas presents. Everyone in At Mink Town will make sure of it. <laughs> Bye, everybody. But don't forget to leave uh. cookies and milk out for Santa. Now all of At Mink Town can have a Merry Christmas. Don't forget to subscribe and have your own very Merry Christmas. See you next year. Search for At Mink. Search for App Mink. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed One fell off and bumped his head Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed Two little monkeys jumping on the bed one fell off and bumped his head Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed One little monkey jumping on the bed He fell off and bumped his head Mama called the doctor and the doctor said I said no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Mm -hmm.